Prioritization of Regional Value Chains of Agricultural Commodities in ECAS Region, theme of a three-day workshop to promote intra-African trade, which opened in Douala today. We shall be getting more from our guest, Mr. Ahmed El Mekas. Stay with us. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and thanks for honoring the 8 p.m. rendezvous on STV in Douala, Cameroon. A workshop on the prioritization and validation of ECAS regional agricultural value chains is ongoing in the economic capital, Douala. The kickoff of the 3D works organized by the African Union was given this 31st of July by the Minister of Agriculture and Rural Development, Henri Eyebe Aisi. Details with Darling Fajo. Improving the competitiveness of agricultural commodities in the economic community of Central African states, ECAS, through the development of regional value chains to boost intra African trade, is a prime aim of, of this workshop. Uh, we are working on prioritizing the regional value chain. So at the end of this workshop, we want to have clear indications on what is ECAS region value chains, those commodities they want to prioritize uh, for ownership and for development. Also, uh, we want to have an idea of the criteria they have used in selecting this value chain. Agricultural and trade experts and other stakeholders from ECAS region will also focus on the identification and prioritization of agricultural commodity value chains, a promise in reversing food insecurity, reducing food import bill to promote industrialization and commercialization. National economies in within our region, economic, uh, regional economic regions, could really boost their economy through agriculture. Uh, the workshop that is taking place here in Douala is centered on the prioritization, identification and prioritization of the competitive uh, 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 commod uh, agro commodities uh, that are strategic ones for each country. How could some commodities be developed for the interest of for the national interest of the economies? Uh, how could these commodities, how could authorities, national authorities within the region contribute to promote the inter intra regional trade? The three-day validation workshop, which began this 31st of July in Douala, will be facilitated by the Semi-Agri-Food Greens Research and Development. Like I told you at the start of this newscast, here with us is the SAFGRAD coordinator, Dr. Ahmed El Mekas. Good evening, sir. Good evening, Fronke. How are you? Fine, thank you. Thanks for honoring our invitation. Thank you. I appreciate it. Well, it is known that the agricultural sector in Africa is vital in its economic growth. Only this sector is still not flourishing at its best. What could be some of the reasons? Actually, first of all, before to start, I have to congratulate you and our mothers and sisters of Africa for the Women, African Women's Day today. Thank you. Congratulations for all mothers, those that are working on field. Actually, if we look to the agriculture sector in Africa and in general, we are facing some challenges. One of those, if we look to agriculture as inputs and outputs, what is agriculture in inputs and outputs? We have land, we have water, we have seeds, and we have farmer or human. Human being is farmer, extensionists, researchers, and political will. If you look to those, some of the challenges facing us, if we look to land, we have to look to access to the land. If we look to seeds, we are still working in traditional seed. We need to have this, some research for improve the seeds. This is could give more production. And if you look to the water, Africa, we are facing water scarcity. So we have to look for modern irrigation scheme and how to optimize management of our water resources in Africa. And if we look to the farmer himself, we need more extension that could increase the awareness of farmer. How can they make production very well for using those inputs? As, as well as behind that, the research. We have a lot of researchers, but how can we use these researchers to help the farmer? So the extensionists, they are the one has to do that. And above of all of that, the political will. This is many challenges could affect Africa. If I go beyond that, to go to the, to the chain, we have farmer, and we have collectors, we have wholesalers, we have processors, and we have consumers. This chain, 
has a lot of challenges, and this is the reason we have to identify the challenges and opportunities to optimize using the opportunities and reduce the challenges as much as possible. Well, you organized a workshop which is unfolding here in Douala. It actually started today to run till the 2nd of August, that is Thursday, which is aimed at improving competitiveness of agricultural commodities to boost intra African trade. Do you think intra African trade could improve the agricultural production in Africa? Actually, first of all, I have to thank the government and the people of Cameroon for hosting this important meeting. And going for the agriculture or the intra Africa trade could boost or could increase the agriculture sector. If we're talking about trade, when we're talking about trade, we're talking about money. And when we're talking about money, it is for the benefit of farmer. If the farmer will know that, he will collect more income for doing something, he will do. So it is for serving of a smallholder farmer. If we look for the trade, so we have to organize the smallholder farmer to come together for more research, more technology, to give more yield and more production, that would help the trade. It is opposite way. Okay. If you will encourage the trade, you will encourage the agriculture sector. If you will encourage the agriculture sector, it will come to the trade to encourage the trade. Well, in Africa, most farmers up to date still practice subsistence farming, which makes production low, thereby demand exceeding supply. When, what are some of the suggestions you can make to ensure that supply becomes really effective? Thank you very much, but let me, in this way, I have to mention about the decisions of the heads of state and the government of Africa. Actually, in Agenda 2063 and in our Malabo Declaration, African Union Malabo Declaration 2014, they are emphasized about agriculture transformation. Mm -hmm. Agriculture transformation, we have to look to the agriculture as a business. We have to be focused. What is the agriculture will give us as income? So this is, it will not just be tied to demand the issue. It will go beyond the demand to help the market to look what is available in the market, what I have to sell to the market. National, uh, let me to start even from local market, national market, and international market. If I look in this way, this is will bring more money to the farmer. Because if you look to the local, national, and international farmer, what is the demand of this for the market? And he will be produce something to serve the market, he will gain a lot of money. And this is for our families, those working under the sun on their farms. So where does Safgrad fit in? Actually, uh, sometimes I'm trying to talk about my, our office because our office is doing a lot. Mm -hmm. What is Safgrad? Safgrad is a specialized technical office of the African Union working in the area of agriculture and research and for development. Actually, Safgrad working in different area. We are tackling different area. For example, in the area of value chain, we have just facilitated our colleague in EGAD region to identify their commodity and they concluded with sesame and sorghum. And we did some work, we carried out some studies for Sahel Saharan zone. And now we are in ECAS region, so we are moving in Africa as part from our responsibility as African Union. In the area of desertification, for example, we are strengthening the capacity of scientific technical correspondence of UNCCD people working in Africa. In the area of publication, our office has published about 500 documents in different areas of agricultural research. If we are talking about strengthening the capacity of young researcher, which it is an important part in agriculture. We have just facilitated about 2,500 in the history of 2,500 scientists and technicians to have some information about agricultural research. This year, just we have facilitated young researchers from 25 African member states to have a training course in irrigation modern scheme. If I talk about self-grad, I will not finish your program. Well, well, well then <laughs> permit me to ask what you intend to achieve at the end of this three-day workshop. Thank you. As my colleague mentioned in support, actually, to have agricultural value chain, first of all, we have to prioritize our communities at ECAS level. So now, we have to prioritize our communities by the end of this meeting. We have to identify the main criteria could, that has to be used to prioritize the communities. And we have to think about committee, schools of committee value chain. This committee is not name of people, it is the position. Who could take this value chain just in progress and who could facilitate value chain to be in reality? Well, thank you very much, Dr. Ahmed Elmekas. We know that you are the staff grad coordinator. We thank you so much for all these uh, ample information. Thank you, Veronica, and thank you for all Cameroon citizens. Thank you. I appreciate it.